seem to have made a new friend. This place is called Brightlight. Meet her lives close by. Let's see. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Claims to be a simple lamp maker, bringing light into the world as best he can. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your pre says he can see that in the way you brighten everything up. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. There's plenty of it that's still worth saving. Whatever happens to the world, you shone as bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the Myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. It's clear you do. Nothing shines as bright as being right. Says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together, your fates connected. What you've said, he feels too. So why not call him me too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Says it's pronounced that way, but spelt different. But he feels that connection with you. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth, and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gong grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. Glows with delight at your bright passion for the light. The best part of this ride is it runs on green stuff. some e-waste.
Check out that e-waste. That's a good find. End is coming to the world and everything else. You can make so many amazing things out of wood scrap. Nice view. The water in the ground is spreading. Glittermoth Cave is right here. Thank <laughs> you. 
detective. Mito says there's darkness in everyone's life, but as a lamp maker, he wants you to know there's light too. His goal in this dying world is to be like a flame fly, burning to light the way for others, and therefore he still makes lamps. You look like you're in need of a special get through the night lamp, but to make something like that, he'd need a flame fly. Says that's the kind of attitude that spreads light everywhere. Getting brighter every time! Oh, no. Go look at yourself in a mirror. Can't. Everyone you looked in cracked. That was only one time. I have a shop full of shattered mirrors that says you're wrong. Sun's setting, so it's getting colder too. Blisterboo, known for its perfect temperature and atmosphere. Ching! 
darkness covers the world like a blanket. There they are. Now, you fixed those flame flies fast. Mito seems mesmerized by the flame fly. It's fire now burning in his heart, too. Mito says the flame flies have always acted as guiding lights in his life, but with so little time left, he can't just make a lamp from scratch for you. Sometimes there are ether lanterns as light as paper floating around in the sky at night. One of those would make a perfect fit for your fly. Hopes that you let his light grow within you instead. Can you feel that? It's getting dusky in here. Hold up! There's no need to rush into things. Sounds like you're just flat out lazy to me. Lazy? Because I fight against the dark. Because you're against just getting things done. Mito says you're making sense to him. Says you should take care. Says the Myriad tribe is known for their spiritual. The sky is as bright as it's going to be.
Now that Mito has the ether lantern, he's able to convince the flame fly into making it a special get through the night lamp. He's glad he's able to help you shed some light on a world that's... He wishes he could do more to help, but too much light... If there's any way to help you see, though, he's happy to do what he can. Plans to keep making lamps until... Knows you have the arc's fuse all trimmed and ready to go. Can't wait till you light that candle. Says no. Thinks it's great you're leaving in the Ark, even though the world is brighter than ever. He knows you spread your light throughout the land. Could you enlighten him as to... So, what we have here is an opportunity to help your next. There's a seat open on the Ark, should you want to... Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go alone. If you want to go further, go together. The only one we'd want to get away quickly from here is darkness. But you know you can't go on without me. Even if I'm bad company, I complete you. Hmm. I think we can finally agree on something. It is better to be alone than in bad company. But best of all, is being good company yourself. He's glowing like the sun that you picked him to join you on the Ark. He can't... Mito says he's ready to illuminate your world. Understands completely. How do you get... That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on the inevitable road ahead, the one that leads to confrontation with the World Eater. The hoof puff is evidence of the duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies mountains. So, based on that alone, she reckons it has suffered as much damage as the northwest root that's hidden beneath the surf. The rocky ridges have been called the Knoop Stonies around here for as long as she can remember. It's said the stone was grey before, but some...
Is your mount paying attention? There's an aero wreck over there. So much wasted. Always good to have some wood scrap like that on hand. to believe how serious this is if you want to have any effect on it. Move before it decides to have lunch. Thank you. 
you've stumbled into the mushy mosh mire, where the risk of getting forever stuck is omnipresent, regardless of whether you want it or not. That brickbat is ripe for the plunge. Hardly ever see those. The place is filled with bugs, fish, and squickier things.
The plague that's ruining the land needs to be stopped. to ashes, dust to dust.
He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. You're good-hearted enough, so you'll have no problem getting him to share the information with you. He trusts you know where to find Out of Date by now. He's always... Been Can't wait to get on flatter ground. She wonders if the rumors she's heard about you finding the Ark are true. She's thrilled you found one. There's nothing you can't do. With the world recovering, the Ark would be a wonderful way to see it. So much faster than even her favorite Gnotes. Loves that you did your best to help the world rather than hurt it. You could have used much more of that, even before you returned. Any idea who might be joining you on your archie journeys? So, what we have... Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself, and... If you want to go quickly, go alone. But you know you can't go on without... <laughs> I think we can finally agree on something. Come on. Now. Feels deeply honored that you'd want her to come with you. An Ark is no Gnote, but she can't pass this up. She's coming aboard. Nokko knows she's known for saying things over. Says you'll meet again. This will be fun.
It's the porky puff nibbling bark. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of Dake's leg. Hook the boom ball and throw it beneath the puff. Unleash the quacks. Ain't that cute? A two bit playing with quacks.
you feel it. It's the brisk wind of change. Don't let this opportunity slide. He thanks you for dealing with another World Eater. You're halfway there. He's got word out of date spotted Looper Lupin and has a feeling your time has come. He hopes you're up for it. Even though you're good-hearted, you shouldn't miss this opportunity to confront the Predator. Just head back to the foot of the tree. Fingers crossed Looper Lupin will stay put until you're there. Fine Got one. word you found the greatest glider of all, an ark, and it's a Figures it must. What a wild kind of ride it's got. <laughs> Funny that you found an ark when you don't need to go anywhere in it. The world's still going to be <laughs> proud of you for thinking about helping before us. <laughs> Wonders if there are any open seats left in that fat. So, what? Why? You don't need anyone else but yourself and me, of course, but I'm a part of you, so that doesn't count. If you want to go quickly, go... But you know you can't... I think... Feels thrilled to snag a seat in your ark. Can't wait to glide through the skies. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but... Says you'll meet again. Better to be on top of a mount than standing behind it.
accusata get out of date says the time has come for you to reconcile with your past loma doha lupa lupin is still staying in the camp where he was brought up he hopes you'll find the answers you are looking for there loma doha even though darkness is a part of your nature he suggests you try to keep your cool as the best fighter is never angry. He'll point you in the right direction, but the rest is up to you. Lupalupin's camp has always been there, hidden deep inside the mountains. Out of date hopes you'll find your way and the answers you were looking for one. He knows he said it before, but the time has come to put an end. You should. He's happy to help. So, says you covered the important things already. No one's going to see you coming in the dark. Lupin says he's been looking for you at this moment. He wanted you to come here and see for yourself where it all started. He was so little when your mother and kin came here to put an end to his mother just because she was different, a hunter. That night, the hunter became the hunted, trapped with nowhere to run. He says your mother showed no mercy. Only a vengeance. He can see that you're not like your mother. There's something different about you. Maybe you would have made a better decision than she did and let them be. They orphaned him, left him alone, an outcast and a freak. Lupa Lupin says he's been reliving the moment every night since then. Mm. 
He says your mother and her disciples started something that couldn't be undone. They created the monster he would become. He knew his time would come and he was patient. So, when he got news about your birth, he knew how to get revenge that would last. No. That's why he spared you that night he raised the village when you were a child. He wanted you to suffer for life, like he had. No. He marked you for life, so he'd recognize you when you met again, and you'd eventually remember where you came from. <laughs> His hunger grew insatiable over the years to come. He tried, but being vegetarian wasn't in his nature and he couldn't go hungry. But he's never taken a life for the sake of appetite. It's always been about survival and that our true self is being who we are. Just so. A deep look into nature will make you understand everything better and that natural selection eliminates and the strongest survive. <clears throat> Fate is for those too weak to determine their own destiny. And now, the time has come for you to accept yours. The oil claimed this land a long time ago. Out of date says the word about what you've done so far is spreading. The tribes haven't lost hope yet. He appreciates what you've done so far, 
but unfortunately, he's had urgent news from his friend Wiz in the Northwest. He's unsure about your intentions, but hopes you'll support Wiz. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Wiz and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's hunch is real. The Merc Puff is up next. Out of date says that Wiz is worried now that the Northwest World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Wiz is working on an undersurf vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head northwest as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Says goodbye to you. Let's see. Shout about it later. Put one robot foot in front of the other. Monkey. That's a joke. 
jumbo pump with an appetite. Ain't no fuss. Better put an end to it before it ends our world. Jumbo Puff is kicking it up a notch. It's time for an electric performance. Ouch. A couple of more hits and it's a fried circuit board. feeling about this, it goes all the way down to the stump. Start like a snack and you'll end up with a ride down the intestinal canal. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. Look at you, all pooped out. From this point on, there's no way forward but going back in. That's too close to the end station. Better move up, up and away, or be swept out the bowel way. What a super-sized wormwind! That must be as big as they come! You see, it's what's on the inside that counts. That meaty Taurus is all the Taurus is pumping at half a beat. You know what to do. Better pumped out than flushed down. Don't let it happen again. with a throw-up. Can it really get any better than that?
That sealed the fate of the third World Eater. Just one more to go. All the ghouls are gonna have eh, eh. Out of Date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Do right by your tribe and the world at large. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again. He's helped out of date to get the Ark hardware restored. There's just some... He says the spark plugs didn't fire, so the pistons couldn't compress the black juice to generate enough spruity bang bang. Gizmo isn't sure you'll need to make use of the Ark, though. It looks like your efforts to save the tree and the world are paying off. He knows your good-hearted nature means you won't leave him behind, but you need to work on yourself if he's going to be isolated with you in the Ark. There are things you don't see eye to eye on. It's not that he doesn't care about others, but the fact that the Ark only has four extra seats means you have to be picky when choosing company. So, what we have here is an opportunity... Why? You don't need anyone... If you want to go... But you know you can't... Hmm. I think we... He's been thinking this whole thing with the Ark through and has decided he won't be joining you. First off, he isn't 100% sure he's got the wiring right and really, he doesn't think he can stand being in that enclosed dog. Gizmo will always make time for you. Says talking to you was interesting. The day almost makes you want to smile. Out of date says there'll be consequences of the war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. The last World Eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. He thought someone with your light perspective and key would have had different priorities and faced the World Eaters before resolving the tribe war. Regardless, out of Date is grateful the Tribe War is over. Out of Date understands the road has been rough, but you already know what's left to end this journey, and it'll be tough. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last World Eater. The future depends on someone with a light perspective to give the world a chance to survive. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring a lasting peace for those that make it to the end. He says you really need to go see Wiz as soon as possible. He's happy to help. Wishes you goodbye. 